Hello again. In this video, I'm just going to briefly talk about um, wine bottle shops, and then we're going to get on to a Sicilian wine. But um, firstly, uh, I like to encounter, discover new wine bottle stores. And um, when I see a bottle shop, especially I'm in, located in Sydney, and I see a lot of bottle shops everywhere, there's at least one on every corner, and most of the bars have a bottle shop with them. So, you know, finding a good quality wine bottle shop is quite rare. So um, there are a number out there and I do tend to, uh, if I see one, I'll, I'll spend an hour. I'll just go and look at all their racks, look at all the sorts of wines they sell, work out my budget and, uh, and then choose one. Well, one of my missions at the moment is to try and find a wine that A, I don't know the full original title of and B, I don't know the actual translation of the title in English. And there's only one place in the world that I know has sold it, and when I called them, they haven't had it for a while, so they couldn't remember the full name anyway. But it translates as um, Jesus' blood, or Christ's blood, or blood of Christ. And it, the guy at the place that I rang said it could be from Sicily, and so I've searched online, I can't find it. Um, but I thought, well, if yeah, it's going to be something like Gruja di Sangre or something, but I can't find it anyway. So, I've for the moment I've given up, but um, I'm going to keep looking. Whenever I go into a wine store and they say they've got imported wines from Italy, I'm going to be checking that shelf <laughs> every now and then. So uh, I went to this wine place in Newtown, and they had a great collection of different types of wine, and uh, they had this one from uh, Sicily. <laughs> So I thought, well, I'll give it a go, see what it's like. Now this is the uh, Il Nostro Vignelli na Nascono da Mercurali dalla Nostra Famiglia di Da Quattro Generaziani, 2011, uh, otherwise known as Mandelito, uh, Nero di Eola Sicilia. Indicazione Geografica Tipica Alcohol by volume, 75%. Italian. Italian. Mendelita. Okay, Mendelita is inspired by the groves of almond trees, mandolin, men, mendolo, that flower on the steep hill slopes in spring, providing a dash of beauty to this dramatic landscape. The region's warm Mediterranean climate is moderated by cooling sea breezes and high altitude to provide an ideal location for Sicily's finest red wine, Nero di Avola. A ripe and expressive wine balanced by savoury complexity. The 2011 Mandolita Nero di Avola is the ideal companion for richly flavoured Italian cuisine. Okay, so this is produced in Italy and um, it's imported by Fourth Wave Wine Partners in Victoria. So it um, looks pretty interesting. Um, so, yeah, so I got this off the shelf uh, and I thought I'd give it a go. And one of the things that that strike me with Italian wines, whenever I've had an Italian wines, I just get this impression of tomato sauce every time. It's like this is either got tomato in it or it's ideal for a pasta dish of some kind that has tomato in it. And I think all the wines of Italy come out that way, making it so it's perfect for a pasta meal. And so, um, yeah, personally, I wouldn't recommend drinking Italian wine if you're not having Italian food with it because it's really designed for Italian food. Um, so if you are having spaghetti bolognese, for example, you grab a bottle of Italian wine to have with it. All right, so um, let's uh, try this. Um, I did actually, I have already opened this and I did have this, but it was after a few beers. So I want to know what this tastes like um, without you know, the effect of food and beer. Now it's got a nice scent to it, nice bouquet. Very tomatoey. A little bit um, minerally, not quite herbaceous, but it's like you can pick a little bit of the soil actually. And the uh, alcohol's not so pronounced. 
Okay. This is very light. Um, almost coffee-like, actually. There's a very faint coffee flavour to it. Unusual for wine to taste a little bit like coffee. Um, tannins are really strong. I haven't even swirled around my mouth and I'm, my mouth's going like that. And a medium finish. So this is this is ideal for cutting through pasta and other oily dishes because you've got the oil and you've got the acid from this just you know cutting through it. And so it's it's a great complement for Italian food. Um, I quite like this one. Um, it's very different. It's a very different red to other reds I've had. Um, and so, uh, yeah, for that uniqueness, I like this as well. So, um, Sicilian wines. Check it out. If you can't find this one in particular, because there's, you know, so many, um, I strongly recommend you just try something from Sicily that's similar to this, and have it with a spaghetti bolognese. Until next time.